Today's the day, ladies and gentlemen. Is Bitcoin finally ready to break through the resistance box, create a new higher high, and test our new target area up towards the 6K region? Or are we ready for a rejection and a plunge deep down into the crypto abyss? Also, I'd like to discuss in depth an unseen indicator that is on my radar right now. It's something that we cannot see in the chart, but I believe is very prevalent in the current state of the market, and I'd like to discuss this with you all. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin, all the levels I'm seeing here in the chart, the unseen indicator, and some new targets. So as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right, so we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and observations on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk, and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. Being said, let's begin here on the four-hour time frame. As it stands right now, if we actually, let's just go into the five minute chart real quick. Just before I hopped on stream here, guys, Bitcoin did look to test up into the resistance box here once again. Once again, did Bitcoin look to get a little tentative Pompanachi to bring us up to retest the prior high. But we did not get that. We actually rallied up to almost 5,300, falling just short there at about 5,290, and we've retraced completely back into our sideways trading range, which we can see more clearly here on the four hour time frame. So where are we at right now? This is the question, right? Now for us on my chart here, what I'm seeing is that we are, are just clean, clean at the bottom of our resistance box outlined by these two Wikinachis that came down amidst our initial capitulation descent. And that is where we're finding the bulk of our resistance right now. Uh, to me, guys, we are still trading in the middle of a range here, which to me is very neutral, right? As long as we're inside this range here, it's a very neutral territory. Uh, you know, I believe that this green box down here falling between 4650 and 4500 is certainly fair game for a target to the downside. And on the contrary, if we break up into this box, uh, I believe anywhere... Uh, between 5,700 all the way up to 6,200 could be fair targets to the upside. And I'm going to discuss those with you in depth right now. So as it stands here, guys, if we pull up the RSI on the daily, we are still quite high here. Uh, yes, we are not oversold in the black here, over 70 just yet, but we are at a 68.5. As we've all seen here in Bitcoin's past, it loves to respect the overbought territory. And what I mean by that is if we use our rectangle here, we can see that most of the time that we get up into this region here, we wind up finding a rejection. Uh, it's not picture perfect all the time. As we can see, we do overshoot quite a bit, uh, you know, relative to, to the action. But for me right now, guys, we, we see in the chart, we'll go back to this chart now, that we're coming up upon this massive resistance range here. The RSI is quite high. Of course, if you are subscribed here, you would know that I've been following this NVT indicator, which is measuring the transaction volume on the Bitcoin blockchain. Every time this thing has turned red in the past, it has dumped into oblivion, as we can see, time and time again. This is something I'm watching right now, although the upward sloping trend line has not been broken just yet, so I'm not uh, in full out uh, you know, attack mode here with this indicator at this time, but we are getting awfully close. I'm going to continue to monitor this and wait for the break to really see what happens. Uh, but for me right now on the daily, 
we're seeing a story that's that's pretty neutral. Uh, we have to either test into this box, the red box, which is currently massive resistance with this cluster here, with the RSI being so high, with the looming insane resistance at that $6,000 level, ladies and gentlemen. I actually want to go over to the BLX now as this is really outlined for me perfectly here. So let's say that hypothetically we do test up, right? Right now, I, I want to say it's pretty neutral. We'll discuss more in just a moment, but let's go with the hypothetical scenario that we do break to the upside here, right? For me, we have two key resistance zones. Let's actually make this, uh, we'll make this green up here, all right? Or we'll outline it in green, that works too. Um, so what we see here, guys, is that we have our first level of resistance falling between 5460 and 5700. This is where we've topped out right now. This is due to the cluster there of sideways consolidation on our first leg down on the capitulation dive. Uh, but right now, for me, that is the first area that needs to be cleared. If that area is cleared, I see no reason that we can't test all the way up to the bottom of that level there that was really our support all throughout 2018. Now, this box, I actually want to make the whole thing green. I really want to, uh, let's see, there it is. That's better for me. That's actually more so a target zone for me, right, uh, for longs. But just on the contrary, guys, if we are to break into this box, uh, I believe that there's going to be massive shorting opportunity as well. It really, all throughout this region, uh, it's like a double role that this is playing for me, guys, that this is both take profit targets on longs and also zones I'm going to be looking to get absolutely aggressive in on a short opportunity because, I, you know, if we zoom back in the chart, guys, I'm going to go back to the weekly. We can clearly see, uh, you know, last time that Bitcoin bottomed right after it, its massive bear market. We had all sorts of rallies like the one that we're having now, right? And they've crashed, retraced down, boomed again, retraced down, and then we finally broke out, right? So for me, guys, right now, this is only the first test, and I've been very, very clear about this. I am 100% expecting at least one rejection off of this level anywhere in here, any of these two levels, uh, before we can really stick in a bottom. Because for me, I would much rather get rejected at these critical areas, retrace down, and build a support level around this base here, which then for me would be indicative that old resistance, which is all of our prior highs here that were resistance for quite some time, now turn into new support as our base to retest the highs once again and look to break it, form a new high, break that 6,000 resistance, consolidate again and move into a bull market. That's kind of my macro perspective right now. Uh, some concerns for me here, just as I was showing you on the other chart there on the daily uh, that I, I see we're at the resistance level. Something else that's concerning for me here, guys, is the fact, obviously, that we we had our massive green engulfing candle here on the weekly, followed by a doji, indecisive doji. Now, of course, we still have several days left in this candle on the weekly here, but as it stands right now, we are looking to put in uh, a, a bullish hammer, right? Which is a, a nice, it's nice. That's what you'd want to see after this doji to come in to keep hope alive. But the problem for me is that we're underneath the two of the potentially largest resistance zones on the macro level in Bitcoin's history. And also, if we go back down here, these three candles in particular, actually these four candles in particular, are very similar uh, to what I'm seeing in the scenario that we are currently in right now over here, right? So for me, over here, originally several months ago, we had our massive bullish engulfing candle on the weekly, followed by an indecisive doji potential reversal candle, followed by a bullish hammer, and then we got the, uh, the <laughs> we got the bad news there, ladies and gentlemen, that we could not break this resistance box of our prior highs, and then we got an insane, insane rejection candle. Let's actually take a price range on that. Uh, we retraced 
you know, 15% to the downside, ladies and gentlemen, after a significant move up, right? We, we retraced half the move in a week, and we actually we wound up retracing nearly the entire candle, right? It's not all the way, but it was about 75% of our candle wound up getting retraced. And right now, it looks picture perfect for me that we're seeing the exact same thing play out here. Does it have to happen the same way? Absolutely not. Uh, that's just something I've noticed a similarity in looking back at our past candles there from several months ago. I believe these two levels are going to be incredibly difficult to break, but if they are broken, uh, I, I really believe, ladies and gentlemen, that this thing could run all the way uh, really to 5,700 to 6,200. Like I said, it depends on what you're trading, right? Uh, because if you're long, these could be take profit areas. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, I'll never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm speaking from a hypothetical level out loud uh, for myself here. For me, these are, are levels that I would be very cautious at as I, I'm under the impression that this is going to be a very difficult zone for Bitcoin to break, uh, even more so that it's been difficult to break just into this red box, right? We've only tapped it, got our doji, and now we're we're struggling to get even past the cl the close of the doji, right? So right now I'm I'm very cautious, ladies and gentlemen, in, in concerns to that. Uh, now the other things is that here on the fear and greed index, we've gotten even more greedy, ladies and gentlemen. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Now up to a 64. As we all see, being in the in the overly greedy metric has sent us on a sharp decline time and time again all throughout the past. Yesterday we were at a 50, today we are at a 64. We've gotten even more greedy, right? The the bulk of the trend here in the immediate term has been greed, greed, greed. I'm mixing that greed with the rejection, the fall off in volume, the the harsh RSIs on the daily and the four hour being incredibly uh, overbought, right? The NVT. It's all pointing to me, ladies and gentlemen, that this does not have to be a level that gets broken through right now. Uh, this, to me, could be a spot where we get a little rejection. Maybe we, we form a new consolidation range in here, right? And test it again and then break through. Right now, I'm just seeing that there's a lot of struggle for the bulls at where we currently stand. Uh, you guys know I'm awaiting confirmations on several patterns, several price action indicators that are going to lead me into taking trades here aggressively, and I will be posting my trades for you exclusively in VIP. Every entry, every exit, every target, every take profit, etc., etc., I post it all for you exclusively in VIP. I will see you in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs. Let's get this crypto. Uh, and now I'd like to discuss the unseen indicator, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, I really want to discuss here. It's not something you can see in the chart, but it's something that I see on a daily basis right now uh, as somebody that's in, involved heavily in the space, and I'd like to discuss this with you all. But if you are just tuning in now, don't forget to moon up the likes, moon them up. Smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. So uh, what I'm noticing, guys, is that right now with the market generally moving sideways here, right, uh, what we're seeing is a lot of anger. And I believe that the anger, and by anger I'm talking about from retail traders in this space, the, you know, the average Joes that you see across social media, right? They're getting very angry in here. They're, it's not only anger from one side. I see the, the bulls are getting angry and the bears are getting angry. And this really reminds me very much so of this area right here. I'm actually going to make this yellow so we can see this a little bit better. This area right here, 68 days of stagnation moving sideways before our epic drop to the downside, right? This region here, was one of the ugh, most insane times because what winds up happening in this market is that you have a lot of degenerates. They're, they're actually gamblers. They're not real traders or investors. They're, they're just degenerates, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, 
The thing is, it's great that these people exist in this market because there needs to be people like this in order for irrational, heinous moves to take place, which puts profits in the hands of those that are trading it correctly, right? But what winds up happening is that I believe on a psychological level that the sideways action creates this anxiety that then creates the anger. And when we get this, it's indicative to me that one, a large move is just looming, right? All throughout this region, uh, I was preaching that, look, guys, we've just been creating lower high, lower high, lower high over and over again with a flat bottom line of support with a decline in volume falling off a cliff, I was I was saying over and over again that this looked set up for one of the largest drops in Bitcoin's history. And what did we get, ladies and gentlemen? Ding, 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 chicken wings for dinner, tofu if you're vegan, a 50% drop to the downside. And I'll tell you, uh, the sentiment was never as bad the whole way down as it was right here in this sideways equilibrium that lasted 68 days, right? I don't even have to use my my date range tool because I know from how uh, monumental that, that stagnation was that it was 68 days of sideways trading. In here already, it hasn't even been nearly 68 days. To be quite honest, it's only been about two weeks, if that. Uh, and the thing is, is that with this sideways chop, Roughly not doing much, right? We've kind of just chopped around in an equilibrium, kind of just ping-ponging in a very tight range, finding our average price all kind of along the, the mean line. Uh, there's a lot of psychological anxiety right now, and I understand why. And the reason is that we are at a critical point here where Bitcoin's either going to make every moon boy's dream come true or the dream is quickly going to become a nightmare once again. And this is producing an anxiety level that many are not comfortable with because I'm telling you, I see the anger from both sides. And just on a psychological level here, this is exactly how it felt right here. And this was before an astronomical move, right? Now, I'm not saying that this one has to move to the downside like, like the one prior. It, for all we know, it could be a move to the upside. Uh, but this is how I feel right now, ladies and gentlemen, that we are ready for an absolutely large move once again. And trust me, guys, uh, if this does in fact happen, many will get wrecked and many will profit. I mean, the, the thing with these large moves is that somebody's on the bad end of it, right? And somebody's on the, on the great end of it. For me right now, I'm focused on positioning myself here with what I feel is going to be the best uh, possible position for me. Uh, I'm monitoring this market right now 24-7. It's a very critical zone we're in. If we actually go over to the total market cap here for the crypto space as a whole, altcoins and Bitcoin, uh, we can even see it pretty clearly here. Let's go to the daily that right now... Uh, excuse me for this lag, it's not loading. There we are. That we've tested into our resistance box here, got rejected, and we're trading below this right now. So for me, guys, uh, the volume is also declining off of a cliff here. We're really at the make or break point where either volume's going to have to come in and match this type of level that we saw in this region and boom us into this next level, which would be roughly around the $6,000 level for Bitcoin, or we're going to get this surge in volume and we're going to plunge all the way you know, down back to where we could hopefully form new support off of our old resistance. I feel that one of these two scenarios is going to happen rather quickly. I mean, and, and either way, guys, just look at the percents that we're talking about. Heinous, ludicrous, and a borderline debacle in either direction uh, for the one that gets caught on the wrong side of the trade. Like I said, I'm, I'm doing my best right now to position myself to crush it and seize upon this potentially life-changing trading opportunity if it does in fact occur. A lot of the cards feel the very same to what to what I was seeing back there, ladies and gentlemen, at the 6K region. It feels exactly the same to me. Uh, and the scenario seems ripe for a complete 
heinous move. I mean, we've got the doji. I just outlined those three candles or four candles over here that looked very similar. Our volume has tapered off. And as we know, when the volume is low, it's fair game for one of these large candles to come in uh, and really just make or break you as a trader. Uh, also here, ladies and gentlemen, before I forget to pull it up here, Google Trends. Search term Bitcoin worldwide data past 90 days, three months of data here. We could see that our spike uh, on April 3rd was when the market moved up with that thousand dollar candle. And right now we have retraced all the way back down to a 49, which is more so about where we've been for the past three months as a whole, besides this one little pump in the market. So we've already retraced back down to our average level here. Uh, which to me is just another bearish indicator because if all of the hype has already left here and then I combine our resistance levels and then I combine the fact that there's just a plethora of bearish indicators, uh, to me, ladies and gentlemen, it just appears that this is going to be a tough level to break through. I'm not going to say it's impossible. Uh, to me right now, anything is possible with the volume being so low. Uh, I want to look at the shorts here too, just so we understand that yesterday's little Pampanachi Dandada, tell your wife, tell your father, that was just a mini short squeeze. We recovered and now the shorts are starting to climb again, right? We could see this. The shorts are climbing again and it's not a coincidence. It's because other traders are seeing what I'm seeing here as well. That the bearish indicators just look overwhelming to me right now. Uh, the, the thing is, is that that doesn't have to mean that the market's going to dump. But if we look at past performance, uh, we can see that many times that these shorts have mooned, the market's just dumped over and over again. And right now, we've just been flirting in this box without ever getting that surge in the shorts, right? And this is why the market has been held at bay here. Uh, and right now, we are starting to see another uptick in the shorts. Can it get above here? Are we going to get a spike? Uh, if we're going to have to keep watching, ladies and gentlemen, but for me right now, this is like the perfect storm is a brewing right now. Uh, I'm ready to get it. I've got the battle helmet on the mud boots, the trench coat, and I'm ready to get this crypto. Grandma's got the oven preheating. The cookies are ready to be got. And you best believe Don Don Carbonaccio is getting ready to get this crypto. Poop coin Patrick over there in the corner crying to grandpapa. Oh, grandpappy, do you think that the Bitcoin dominance metric is going to go back down so my poop coins can pump? Listen here, James. Listen here, Joe. I nearly almost forgot to show you guys this as well. As we know, Bitcoin dominance, right, which is currently at a 52%, ladies and gentlemen. When this metric is generally on the incline over a sustained period of time, uh, it's showing that there's a lack of speculation in the altcoin market. Thus, when the, the capital gets concentrated into Bitcoin, it can lead to a sell-off in the market as Bitcoin uh, is ready to just go into stablecoin or fiat in the, the blink of an eye, right? So for me right now, uh, if this were going to be even more bullish, I'd love to see that the Bitcoin dominance was down further, right? Like if we go out three months here, that was the one month chart. Uh, actually, we'll go out to the year. It's probably a better example I can show you. See, like down here, guys, when we're uh, in the 30s, 36, right? Essentially, this is where there's so much speculation in altcoins uh, and there's really no worry about a massive sell off in the market, in my opinion, because of the fact that many of the altcoins don't even have stablecoin or fiat pairs. So it's very difficult to liquidate and instantly, you know, flash crash the market. Whereas when the Bitcoin dominance is very high, you know, we could see the market sell off rather quickly as many have a stop loss set for Bitcoin uh, in either stable coin or fiat value. And that can lead to a cascading waterfall and a sell off that produces these massive type of, of candles uh, that we can see form to the downside when when that is in fact 
what happens, right? So for me right now, I, I hope that I've just painted the picture here for you guys. Uh, I do my best each and every day to give you my full picture of what I see going on here. Uh, I know many of you right now are, are angry and I believe it's, it's the anxiety of the level that we're at. And I understand guys, I understand. Uh, but just know that I'm going to keep posting analysis each and every day for you. If the trolls want to troll, badger and berate, let them do it, ladies and gentlemen, right? I've got the elephant skin by now. I, I've got, I've taken enough from these trolls to understand that it's meaningless. They don't affect me, right? I'm still going to trade and profit. They're still going to cry, troll and berate. Uh, you know, I'll take the profit over the crying each and every day, ladies and gentlemen. That is how I go about doing business. And that is how I'm going to continue to go about doing mine. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I believe the time is ticking here. I believe that the countdown has began for this large move here. I, I've shown as much as I can, uh, even the un the unseen indicator, right? The psychological anxiety that I saw here in this 68-day equilibrium. I'm starting to feel it again in here because of the levels that we're at. Uh, let me know what you think about this. Let me know how you feel right now. And I'm not just saying this like, oh, leave a comment down below. No, 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 no. I'm being serious. I want to see it. I will be reading the comments today. Uh, let's, let's get a gauge going. How do you feel at the current levels? Are you worried about a sell-off? Or do you, you think we're going to test the targets up here near the 6K region? Uh, I'm curious to know. I will be reading the comments. I will see you there. Um, guys, I'm getting ready to trade this aggressively. I'm ready to position myself the best I can for this potentially life-changing trading opportunity. I will be posting my trades, my setups, my entries, my exits, my plans, my strategies, all of that exclusively for you in VIP. I will see you in VIP right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I will see you in VIP right now. Guys, if you could one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell. Let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. I will see you in VIP right now. I'm ready to get it. I'm ready to crush it. And I'm ready to get this crypto. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been an absolute pleasure. I will see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs. I will see you in VIP right now. And until next time, my friends, be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.